भक्ति चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये न भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददाति स्वपदाक वंदे हम श्री गुरो श्री युतपद कमल श्री गुरून वैष्णवांश श्री रूप साग्रजात सह गण रघुनाथ तम सजीव साइत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादान सह गण लिता श्री विशाखान्ता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम नमो विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणी निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर काइंडली पार्टिसिपेटिंग माई हार्ट फेल्ड ऑफ ऑफ ग्रेटिट्यूड टू द ऑर्गेनाइजर ऑफ दिस कॉल I really want to thank uh, Her Grace uh, Priti Vilasini Mataji and Her Grace Kirti Dasundari Mataji and Her Grace Vinita Gandharvika Mataji and everyone connected to the call. Thank you for kindly, very affectionately inviting me um, and giving me an opportunity to engage my tongue in the service of Sri Krishna. So today we are reading from Chaitanya Bhagavat. This is um, Adi Khanda, Chapter Twelve. Text two twenty five onwards. Kona dina nisha bhage shachi ayi shune Gita vadya yantra vai katha shatta jane. One night, Mother Shachi heard hundreds of people singing and playing musical instruments. Bahu vida mukha vadya nritya pada tal. जन महारास क्रीडा शुने न विशाल बाय द साउंड ऑफ डांसिंग एंड वेरियस विंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स शी कंसीडर दैट अ ग्रैंड रासलीला फेस्टिवल वाज टेकिंग प्लेस कोन दिन देखे सर्व बाढ़ी घर द्वार ज्योतिर्मय बाय के छो न देखे न आ एंड वन डे ऑल शी कुड सी वाज अ ब्रिलियंट स्पिरिचुअल एफुलजेंस परमिएटिंग हर होम कोन दिन देखे अति दिव्य नारी गण लक्ष्मी प्राय सब हस्ते पद्मे पद्म विभूषण ऑन अनदर डे शी सॉ मेनी डिवाइन विमेन हु ऑल हेल्ड लोटस फ्लावर्स इन देयर हैंड्स एंड रेजेंबल द गॉडेस ऑफ फॉर्च्यून फ्रॉम 229 कोन दिन देखे ज्योतिर्मय देव गण देखे पुन आर नहीं पाए दर्शन One day she saw the effulgent demigods, but when she looked again, she couldn't see them. Aayi rae sab drishti ki chhu chitra na hai, Vishnu bhakti swarupini veda jare kahe. It's not astonishing that Mother Shachi had such visions, for the Vedas describe her as the personification of devotional service to Lord Vishnu, purported by His divine grace, Shri La. भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर प्रभु पाद की जाए देव की द मदर ऑफ कृष्ण गर्भ इज द पर्सोनिफिकेशन ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस टू लॉर्ड विष्णु मदर्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड लाइक यशोदा देव की एंड शचि सर्व द लॉर्ड इन प्योर वात्सल्य रस देर फॉर इवन दो सच मदर्स आर वर्शिपेबल टू द लॉर्ड दे आर नॉट बिरेफ्ट ऑफ प्योर स्पिरिचुअल सर्विस आई जर सकृत करे न दृष्टि पाते से हय अधिकारी यही सब देखीते हुएवर रिसीव्स द मर्सीफुल ग्लांस ऑफ मदर शक्षी बिकम्स एलिजिबल टू सी सच ऑपुलेंसेस हे न माते श्री गौर सुंदर वन माली आछे गुण रूपे निज आनंद कुतूहली इन दिस वे श्री गौर सुंदर हु इज नॉन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम लॉर्ड कृष्ण lived in navadweep incognito while relishing his own ecstasy the phrase gaurasundar vanamali indicates that shri gaurasundar is non different from rajendra nandan shamasundar shri krishna chandra bhagavan ki jai 
So this mid-morning call, we are discussing systematically every single day from the pages of Srila Vyasadeva Vrindavan Das Thakur's Chaitanya Bhagavat. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the non-different manifestation of Radha and Krishna in the age of Kali Yuga, as the most merciful personality to have ever surfaced Mother Earth or material world, came in this world to freely distribute pure love of Godhead. And our Acharyas, through their biographies, have described his pastimes in great detail. Chaitanya Bhagavat, Chaitanya Charitamrita, Chaitanya Chandramrita, Chaitanya Mangal, Chaitanya Charit Mahakavya, so many such books are prominent biographies of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu's pastimes, of which Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita and Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat are the most uh, prominent ones in the Vaishnava community. Chaitanya Charitamrita written by Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami glorifies Chaitanya Bhagavat or Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur. Vrindavan Das Thakur's Chaitanya Bhagavat, it predates Chaitanya Charitamrita of Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, which means Chaitanya Bhagavat was written before and Chaitanya Charitamrit was written, written later. And this is why in Chaitanya Charitamrit, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami profusely glorifies Vrindavan Das Thakur's Chaitanya Bhagavat. He says, Krishna Lila Bhagavate Kahe Veda Vyas, Chaitanya Lila Ravyas Vrindavan Das. Kaviraj Goswami Pad writes that just like Srimad Bhagavatam was spent down in this world, Mercifully by Vyasadev. Krishna Lila Bhagavate Kahe Veda Vyas. Veda Vyas has written Bhagavatam, has given Bhagavatam to this world. And that same Vyasadev has reappeared as Vrindavan Das Thakur. This has been confirmed in the Gaur Gonadesh Deepika of Kavi Karnapur. Krishna Lila Bhagavate Kahe Veda Vyas, Chaitanya Lila Vyas, Vrindavan Das. So Vrindavan Das Thakur is Vyasadev who has come to write about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Manushya rachite nari aishe granta dhanya brindavana dasa mukhe vakta shri Chaitanya. Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami has said that Chaitanya Bhagavat is such a wonderful work that no human being can write it. So it seems like Vrindavan Das Thakur has written it, but he's only the pen instrument. Vrindavana dasa mukhe vakta shri Chaitanya. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself has spoken and made Vrindavan Das Thakur Simply the instrument. Brahmana Dev Gopalera Mahima E Dhanya Nityananda Vaktajar Shrota Shri Chaitanya. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it's described that the glories of the Vaishnavas are such that Chaitanya and Nityananda themselves want to speak and hear about such glories. The pastime of Sakshi Gopal, where the deity comes and gives witness in a marital proposition. The question could be asked, what has Gaur Nitai to do discussing a marriage proposal? They are not discussing a marriage proposal. They are discussing the glories of the Brahmana whose love was so high class that even the deity walked to give Sakshi. Brahmanya Dev Gopalera Mahima Ei Dhanya Nityananda Vakta Jara Shrota Shri Chaitanya. That the glory of the Vaishnavas are so great. That even Nityananda Vakta, Nityananda Prabhu starts speaking and Shrota Shri Chaitanya and Mahaprabhu is listening. Because Chaitanya Bhagavat is filled with the glories of the Vaishnavas, Kaviraj Goswami says Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself has spoken this and nobody else. Nobody else can sing the glories as much as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's described when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu glorifies his devotees. Panjamukha, he speaks with five mouths. <laughs> doesn't mean he manifests five heads. It just means that he has continuously um, spoken for days with enthusiasm, glorifying the Vaishnavas. Sahaja vichitra madur chaitanya vihar brindavana dasa mukhe amrit eradhar. Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, who himself is Kaviraj, Kavinam Raja. He is the king among poets. He is saying, Sahaja Vichitra Madhur Chaitanya Vihar. Mahaprabhu's pastimes are purifying. They are spontaneous, filled with love. And so many nice Vaishnava dealings are taught. You see, in Krishna Leela, 
we cannot imitate. We cannot become like Mother Yashoda. We cannot become like the Sakhas. We cannot climb on Krishna's shoulder. We cannot break butter pots. We cannot eat um, the dirt as Krishna did. We cannot do Rasa Leela. We cannot lift Govardhan. We cannot dance on the hood of Kaliya. Krishna Leela means you stand at the shore and observe the ocean. Bas. But Gaura Leela means you jump into the ocean and you start swimming. <laughs> because Gaura Leela is filled with Vaishnava etiquette. You have Pundarik Vidyanidhi, you have Paramananda Puri, you have Madhavendra Puri, you have Ishwara Puri, you have Vidya Vachaspati, you have Rupa Goswami, you have Das Goswami, you have Gopal Bhatta Goswami, you have Narutam Shamananda Srinivas, you have Kolabecha Sridhar, you have Haridas Thakur, you have Mukunda, you have Murari Gupta, you have Shivananda Sen, so many Vaishnavas. So many Vaishnavas. Gaur Leela is actually a garland of flowers and the flowers are all the Vaishnavas. And all these flowers are big and blossomed and colorful and fragrant. Unfading glories. Each flower is a Vaishnava. And they are, they are completely blossomed in Krishna consciousness, colorful in their emotions and fragrant in their devotion. And Gaur Leela is the garland made out of these beautiful, wonderful flowers. Therefore, Gaurangira Madhurila Jar Karne Praveshila Ridai Nirmal Velotar. Narutanda Stakur has said, anybody who hears Gauralila, their heart will be cleansed. Jai Gaurangir Nam Loi Tar Hoi Prem Uday Tar Mui Jai Boli Hari. Narutanda Stakur says, if anyone becomes a Gauravadi, becomes a fanatical Mahaprabhu follower, then he says, Tar Hoi Prem Uday, Krishna Prem will rise in their heart. And Narutam Das Thakur has said, I am walking with a flag in my hand saying, Jai, 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 <laughs> to such a devotee. <laughs> so Chaitanya Bhagavat is certainly the king among scriptures. Just like Srimad Bhagavatam is the king among scriptures glorifying Krishna, Chaitanya Bhagavat is the king among scriptures glorifying Mahaprabhu. It describes Mahaprabhu's pastimes, the first half of his pastimes very wonderfully. And what is left Behind are the Gambhira Leelas, the Antya Leela, the Madhya Leela and Antya Leela. And that Kaviraj Goswami takes the bait and it's like a relay. What do you call it? Relay race? Where you go from one person to another carrying a bait in a running race, 400 meter or 100 meter. 100 meters too short, like 400 meter. So um, similarly on the 400 meter track of Gauru Leela, you have Brindavan Das Thakur running. And describing the Navadip Leela. And taking up to sannyas, And then gives the baton. That stick of Gaura Leela to Kaviraj Goswami. Who at the age of 95 is running. <laughs> and covering up the Madhya Leela and Ante Leela. Four sannyas pastimes. And because Mahaprabhu. His main business in this world was to taste and to share. Which happened in the second half. Therefore Kaviraj Goswami's Chaitanya Charitamrit Prabhupada writes. Is the most. Um, authoritative work on Chaitanya, Chari, on, on Chaitanya Leela. Although Chaitanya Bhagavat is also no less, Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur made a rule that every Gaudiya Vaishnava should read Chaitanya Bhagavat 108 times in his life. 108 times. I know one Brahmachari in uh, Mumbai, in Radha Gopina Temple, very scholarly devotee. He, in fact, even is one of the faculty at the Govardhaniko village. His um, entertainment, whenever he has free time, entertainment, what he does to feel relaxed is read Chaitanya Charitamrit. <laughs> when he's traveling in the bus, he's reading. He's traveling in the train, he's reading. Sometimes, some places he gets invited to speak Harikatha. And he can take a flight and reach there in like an hour or so. But he will take a train which goes 12 hours, whatever the distance is. He goes there on purpose for two reasons. He himself told me this. One, to save the money of the grihasthas who are booking the ticket. And second, he says, that is the time, 10, 12 hours I get by myself just to sit and read. He told me, otherwise I go from one class to another, one service to another. And when I get little time, I want to relax. I read Chaitanya Charitamrita. And that too, not to prepare for some class. It's just... Relishing the verses. Pastimes are going on. Poetry is there. A lot of sweetness. And at the same time, it's very Krishna conscious. 
So Chaitanya Bhagavat and Chaitanya Charitamrit, they complement each other like that. Tar Agyai Koro Tar Uchishta Charvan, Kaviraj Goswami says. He says, Krishna Lila Bhagavate Kahe Veda Vyas. Just like that, he says, Chaitanya Lila Vyas Das Brindavan. Tar Agyai Koro Tar Uchishta Charvan. So this question was asked if Brindavan Das Thakur has already written Chaitanya Bhagavat. Oh, Kaviraj Goswami, why did you write Chaitanya Charitamrit? Isn't, is it not Maryada Vyatikraman, where an Acharya has already written something and you write the same topic? He says, no, 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 no. He says that, <laughs> this is uh, Kaviraj Goswami's words. He says that uh, Gaura Leela, Amritera Sindhu, is an ocean of nectar. Dukdamrita Sindhu, he says. It's actually an ocean. Just like this milk ocean when churned, nectar comes out. He says, Gaura Leela, is the milk ocean. Where nectar doesn't come out. Actually, that is only nectar. You don't have to churn it. And Vrindavan Das Thakur has drunk it with both his palms. And what is dripping through his mouth is what I am collecting and drinking as his charanamrit. Tar agyai koro tar uchishta charvan. In the Chaitanya Charitamrit, I am only drinking what is left behind by Vrindavan Das Thakur. So therefore, every Gaudiya Vaishnava should make a plan to read Chaitanya Bhagavat and Chaitanya Charitamrit as many times as possible. Gaurar Ami Gaurar Ami Mukhe Bolila Nahi Chale. Gaurar Achar Gaurar Bichar Tabe Phalo Phale. In uh, Prem Vivarta Jagadananda Pandit has written that simply saying I am Gaudiya. Gaurar Ami Gaurar Ami Mukhe Bolila Nahi Chale. Just by saying that on the lips that oh, I am Gaudiya Vaishnava. Baat Nahi Banegi. Then how should we become Gaudiya Vaishnava? Gaurar achar, Gaurar vichar, tabe phala phale. The fruit of being a Gaudiya will manifest only when we learn Gaur achar and Gaur vichar, which means the uh, habits, the etiquettes, the mood, the mission, the instructions, the lifestyle of the associates of Mahaprabhu. Gramya kathana shunibe, ara gramya kathana volibe, bhalo na khaibe, bhalo na poribe. Amani na manada sada krishna nam labe braje radha krishna seva manasi kari. These are the essence of all advice. Istan braje tadanuragi jananugami kalam nayet akilamiti upadesha saram. The essence of Mahaprabhu's teachings are there in these seven points. What are the seven points? Point number one. Gramya kathana shunibe. Gramya kathana bolibe. Don't speak things which are not necessary. Don't hear things which are not necessary. Our Viveka Buddhi should be so tikshna, so, so sharp and so um, on the dot, ready on the edge of the seat to think whatever we are speaking, whatever we are hearing. Is it taking me on the goal, towards my goal? If yes, I will hear and speak. If no, I will reject. This constantly one must monitor. The radar must go on constantly. If we are hearing something that is not Krishna conscious, then we should uh, lock our ears. We should block our ears. Actually, yesterday only I was reading. Rupa Goswami has written a very beautiful verse about blocking ears. Please listen to this. You will really like it. I didn't plan it like that, but the verse happens to be in front of me. And it's in the right context. Radharani is speaking to Lalita Sakhi. Manasyopadhyayi prasida sakhi rundi meshruti dvandvam ayam uchatana mantram siddho venur vane pathati. Rupa Goswami has written this, that, oh, my dear Guru of Maan Siksha, oh, Lalita Sakhi, who teaches me how to frown, <laughs> who teaches me how not to give attention to Krishna. So, Manasya Upadhyayi, oh, principal in the school of Maan Leela. You are always teaching me how to play with my eyebrows, how to make my eyebrows dance on both sides. And when Krishna uh, is coming and trying to speak some sweet words to look on the other side and not give him any attention. Oh, Lalita Sakhi, Manasya Upadhyayi, He Sakhi, Prasida, please be merciful to me. And do what? Rundi me Shruti Dvandam. Please shut both my ear holes. Please close my ear holes. Rundi, Rudha Rundha means to shut, obstruct. Me Shruti Dwandvam. Dwandva means both. Shruti means ears. Please block both my ears. Why? 
ayam uchatana mantram siddho venur vane pathati says that there is a siddha baba who is sitting in the middle of the forest and he is very hard hearted hmm? he is stone hearted he is very dry and he is very straight and strict without emotions who is that the flute there is a siddha baba sitting in the middle of the forest and just like the siddhas the yogis sing different kinds of mantras this baba sitting in the middle of the forest is singing a specific mantra and it is called as the uchatana mantra ayam uchatana mantram siddho venur vane pathati there is a siddha baba called the flute and he is very dry because the flute is dry uh, he is very hard <laughs> because it's a bamboo and he is very uh, he is without rasa he is without emotion he is straight kathor and he is chanting some mantra what mantra is he chanting the sound of the flute the venu git hmm? so it's almost like the flute is a baba sitting in the middle of the forest chanting a mantra which is the flute sound and rup goswami pad says this mantra is called uchatana mantra uchatana mantra in um, tantric shastra there are different mantras and uchatana mantra is that mantra when chanted and a person hears the mantra then he forgets his duties he forgets his duties so radharani is saying this baba sitting in the middle of the forest called the flute is singing a uchatana mantra is chanting the mantras which are making me forget what i'm supposed to do in this world so he manasya upadhyayi o principal in the school of man please block my ears so that i don't hear this mantra <laughs> so that's the transcendental version radharani gets so hypnotized and mesmerized by krishna's flute sound that she has to block her ears so that her work can continue so we can at least begin with the basic when there is vaishnav ninda we can block our ears gramya katha na shunibe and we don't speak also the third canto bhagavatam describes canto 3 chapter 15 text 23 yanna vrajantya gabido rachana anuvada shunvanti yanya vishaya ku katha matigni yate shuta hata bagai nrupa atasaras tam tam kshipanta asharane shu tamas suhanta bhagavatam describes that when we speak and hear topics not connected to krishna then we will fall down from human life we will fall down from our human life one time i asked my guru maharaj that um, it is described that hearing gramya katha is worse than hell so i couldn't understand this i said how to how to understand so he very beautifully explained that when you go to hell not you but i when i go to hell then after that the future is bright because you come out of hell and there's no suffering but when we hear gossip about about vaishnavas the future is dark because that is what takes one to hell so it is worse than hell <laughs> in hell the future is bright the suffering is in the present but after that you only have upliftment but hearing vaishnav criticism the present may seem to be bright but the future is dark it is the one which takes one to hell so it's worse than hell he explained so it's very inspiring to hear that so mahaprabhu says bhalana then after saying don't hear gossip and don't speak gossip then he says bhalana khaibe don't eat very opulent food stuff especially in the month of kartik one month we can do some vrat we can reduce our eating the quantity and quality if we like sweets we can give it up for one month or if we like uh, something that we like don't pick something that you don't like and say i am giving it up for one month <laughs> that's not called vrat actually reducing our eating and 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 managing um our diet properly is actually very good vrat a very good thing to do there used to be a very great devotee in brindavan few centuries ago gaudi vaishna by the name siddha krishna baba krishna siddha krishna das baba of govardhan very famous sadhu he would write all his songs with the with his name pen name as dina krishna das so the namo nama tulasi krishna prayasi namo nama radha krishna seva pavo e abhilashi has been written by him dina krishna dase koi e jena mora hoy sri radha govinda preme sada jena bhasi siddha krishna das baba of govardhan govardhan wrote this also sri janava pada padma uh, what is that koriya smaran 
दीन कृष्ण दासे को है नाम संकीर्तन जय राधे जय कृष्ण जय वृंदावन सिद्ध कृष्ण बाबा सो ए वेरी एक्सॉल्टेड वैष्णव गौरी वैष्णव एट द एज ऑफ थर्टीन ही लेफ्ट अवे लेफ्ट हिज होम केम रनिंग टू वृंदावन टू डू सम कृष्ण भजन कृष्ण भक्ति फॉर थ्री इयर्स constantly chanted and served and did parikrama then after that he felt oh no no advancement is being made i am not making any advancement let me go to jaipur and serve radha govind dev if i worship rupa goswami's deities it is possible my heart will get cleansed faster so he left vrindavan and at the age of 16 he goes to jaipur goes to jaipur to uh, serve radha govind dev now he serves radha govind dev very sincerely and as a result what happens every day at the end of his uh, service he gets a laddu from radha govind dev now radha govind dev's prasadi laddu is considered to be the best laddu in the whole world if you are a tirupati fanatic you may not agree to this but if you are a gaudiya vaishnav you will <laughs> the laddu of radha govind dev is considered to be the tastiest in the whole world so 16 year old siddha krishna baba is doing bhajan left brindavan went to jaipur and he is worshiping the deity of radha govinda dev there and one whole year he is worshiping very sincerely but every day after after service he gets one laddu he finds somehow in his personal introspection that something is going wrong even after worshiping radha govinda dev for one whole year and chanting the holy name somehow my sense gratificatory desires are not coming down that was his uh, realization now whether or not that is true we don't know because tathapi bhakte ra swabhav maryada rakshan maryada palan hoy sadhu ra bhushan the sadhus however advanced they are they will always say jai mur naam shune tar punya kshay that those who hear my name they are they will become wretched i am the most fallen jagai madai ho ite mui se papishtha purushera kita hoy te mui se lagishtha that i am more fallen than garbage and i am more sinful than jagai and madai they speak like that self deprecating nature of pure vaishnava so siddha krishna baba felt that maybe i am my anartha are increasing what to do so he felt maybe i left braj mandal this is why this happened <laughs> i for the greed of worshiping radha govinda dev i left the dham maybe this is why my anartha are increasing so he came running back to brindavan and went to kamvan and in kamyavan at that time there was a very great sadhu by the name jay krishna das baba another gaudi vaishnava so he went to him as a young 16 17 year old boy 18 years maximum and he said baba please amar prane raksha karo please save me i <laughs> somehow i am burning my sense gratificatory desires are increasing i lived in brindavan i did bhajan i went to radha govind dev nothing is happening so jay krishna baba who was senior and very advanced vaishnav he told siddha krishna das baba at that time he said wood if it is wet you try to throw it into fire it will not catch fire and if it catches fire also only smoke but only when the wood is dry can it actually catch fire he said with one hand you are serving radha govind dev with another hand you are doing laddu eating <laughs> the wood of your consciousness is not dry usko sukhana padega you have to dry your consciousness tapasya karo don't serve radha govind dev for the laddu he said yes you want to take laddu you take little bus but don't run after that laddu jibhara lalasa ye iti uti dhai shishna udara parayana krishna nahi paaye our mahaprabhu has given this siddhant that if we run here and there even if it is prasadam for the want of the tongue then krishna nahi pai we will not get krishna shri pada indra prabhu used to say when we look at prasadam we should look prasadam to be mother sita so when hanuman saw mother sita and when ravan saw mother sita two perspectives all together ravan saw sita and said i want and hanuman saw sita and remembered shri ram so if we look at bhagavat mahaprasad and we think oh the supreme lord shri hari is so kind to give me remnants from his mouth radharani is so kind mahaprabhu is so kind to give me something for my udar bharan for taking care of my bhakti 
If this is the mood, then it is okay. So, prasad anna dilo bhai. Say anna amrit apao. Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gunagan. Because we want to do Radha Krishna Gunagan, therefore, say anna amrit apao. But if we look at the kachori and the samosa, and if we look at the parathas, and then where is Damodar, where is Radharani, where is Brindavan, we don't know. Only one thing we know. Attack. <laughs> If this mood is there, then Vishaira Anna Khaila Malina Hayaman. Malina Mana Nahoile Krishna Rasmanan. Our Chaitana Charitamrit and Chaitana Bhagavat have all Siddhanta. We don't have to we don't have to go anywhere. Being Gaudiya Vaishnava, if we study these grantha, all the conclusions are there. So Ch- Chaitana Charitamrit describes what we eat, from where we eat, how much we eat, and why we eat, all of that matters. If the money that is made to cook is not proper, if the cooking is not with proper intention, if the serving is not with affection, if the person honoring is not with devotion, then the highest effect of prasadam seva will not work. Highest will not work. We may have, yes, we may get some taste in bhakti, but it will be a snail progress slowly. We find in so many pastimes, Acharyas are walking. We find the very famous example from South India. Acharya is walking with his disciples and Bhagavat Prasad, he accepts and he throws the remnant and the fish jumps from the pond and eats and becomes 400 Mahavishnu. And the servants are all walking behind the Acharya and saying, we are eating remnants every day. Why we are not having this? And the Acharya explains that, well, you have familiarity. Familiarity. Ati parichayadavatnya. You are eating just out of etiquette. But the fish accepted with greed, with helplessness. If this is the mood, then the effect is different. So Mahaprabhu said, Control what goes in the mouth. What goes into the eye, into the ear, into the mouth, we have to control. If we throw nonsense into the eye, Watching whatever we want, hearing nonsense and putting in our mouth any quantity, any quality from anywhere. Then how can we do Krishna Bhakti? How can we do Krishna Bhakti? In a diesel vehicle, if you put petrol, then (laughs) the vehicle will not function properly. So then after this little boy was told by Jai Krishna Baba, he said, okay, if that is the case, I will give up sweets. (laughs) <laughs> and he took to extreme step. What was the extreme step? Siddha Krishna Baba, he said, from today I will only chew, chew neem leaves and drink water from Jamuna, nothing else. <laughs> I want Radha and Krishna. This was his intensity. He said, if my if my senses are running behind footsteps of this world, Jivha Vegam, Udara Upasta Vegam, Prabhupada also said, of all the senses, first the tongue must be controlled. And tongue, belly, and genital are in one line. Prabhupada explained, if one is controlled, everything will be controlled. Sevon mukhehi jivhadau swayameva spuratyada. Prabhupada explains, only accept Krishna prasad and speak about Krishna bas. One time Srila Prabhupada was asked by Nanda Kumar Prabhu, Prabhupada disciple, that Prabhupada, is it okay if we can live with the simple food? Prabhupada said, oh yes, that is first class. Yogis have been living like that. In fact, in the pastimes of Prabhupada, it is described. In the presence of Parampujipad Lokanath Maharaj, this discussion took place. Prabhupada was saying, yes, I want my disciples to be like this. Serving, preaching, chanting. And maybe once in a few days going and begging for some basic food. And then coming and chewing, offering to Krishna, chewing basic fruits and (laughs) vegetables and living simple life. And devotees were thinking, that I hope Prabhupada doesn't make this a rule. Now, Param Pujipad, Lokanath Maharaj was in ecstasy because he's, he's been a detached Mahabhagavad yogi right from childhood. So his eyes went wide in happiness. And then Prabhupada looked around. He said, I know you cannot do it. Therefore, we have prasada. <laughs> so, of course, according to our health, we have to see. Don't get into gastric problems and acidity and... Um, if you have problems, gastrointestinal problems, then you have to do what you have to do. You have to take care of the body. But eating the right quantity is what is important. So Siddha Krishna Baba starts chewing 
neem leaves with jamuna water now that itself is not sufficient he does that to dry the wood of his consciousness the example that was given but in a few years because of this diet he went blind he couldn't see anything and he was ready whatever it takes i will dry my senses he said and he was calling out crying and weeping to radha and krishna please help me and the story goes that radharani sends lalita sakhi with a very sacred anjan very beautiful wonderful medicinal paste and lalita sakhi goes and applies it on the eyes of siddha krishna baba and he gets his vision back not just material vision but even spiritual vision so mahaprabhu said bhalo na khai be yes for preaching it is wonderful we can have opulent prasadam because we want to get as many devotees as possible to attract but as we want to go up we can accept minimum and give maximum we can because what happens is when we eat more naturally we feel sleepy lot of time lot of waste of energy so we want to be more krishna conscious as possible therefore once in 15 days ekadashi comes to remind us to bring a speed break to our digestive system because our digestive system also needs a saturday and sunday to recuperate and spiritually it's wonderful it's wonderful bhalana khai be bhalana pori be clothes also simple if we have very opulent clothing um especially if we go in temple set up then what happens is people glance at the deities less and glance at us more so we don't want to take the attention of the devotees away from the deities towards us the so dressing must be as simple as possible in the vaishnava etiquette manual also it is described the dressing must be clean it must be clean and simple taking care of the body is one thing pampering the body is something altogether different so we want to we want to forget that we are this body right we are thinking that we are this body we want to forget that so the more we give in and pamper this body stronger will our material conditioning be so we want to live simple bhrata tishta tale tale vitapinam grameshu bhiksham ata swachchandam yamuna jalam pipamalam chirai sukantam kuru sammanam kalayati gora garalam neechapamanam sudha shri radha murali dharo bhaja sakhe brindavanam matyaj shri pad prabodhanand saraswati in, in his classic brindavan mahimamrithi explains eight principles for getting radha and krishna in one life he says bhrata tishta tale tale vitapi nam don't worry about the conditions where you live he says don't complain live wherever live simple he says the goswami is lived under the trees don't worry about the shelter about wherever krishna keeps you be happy bhrata tishta tale tale vitapi nam second grame grameshu bhikshamata don't worry about the quality of food that we get sometimes salt will be more sometimes salt will be less sometimes it will be more spicy sometimes it will not be that spicy sometimes it will be tasty sometimes it will be on time sometimes it will not be on time he says the goswamis did madhukari from home to home that was their standard so at least minimum we can do is whatever krishna sends we will be happy santushtya yena ke nava second principle third principle swachchandam yamuna jalam pibamalam drink water wherever it's available now of course this was written at a time when yamuna was very pure then we through delhi and all the industrial pollution we threw all the dirt into the yamuna so we cannot uh, sustain on yamuna water now but the point we can understand is every day we should have chamk charanamrit that's the principle that we can take as a sadhaka every day worship your deities and drink the charanamrit or if you have some ganga jal yamuna jal drink little fourth chirai sukantam kuru keep your clothing very simple very simple the goswami is lived of torn cloth shila gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj would take cloth which used to be used to cover dead bodies at a crematorium and after just before the body is put in you know, the body is bathed and put on the pyre and the cloth that has been used to cover is what he will wash in the jamuna and he will wear around that's that was the level but we can do that and we shouldn't imitate prematurely but at least we can make sure no necessary of un, unnecessary shopping uh, or buying more stuff than what is needed whatever we have we should be happy 
keeping it very simple. That is the fourth principle. Fifth principle, Sammanam Kalayati Ghora Garalam. Whenever we get praise, we should consider that, that to be the greatest deadly poison. Greatest poison. Because when we get praise, we forget Krishna. We remember ourselves. And forgetting Krishna is the greatest loss. Sixth point, Nichapamanam Sudha. When criticism comes through people who are lower than us, in whatever state we are, whatever consideration that is, we should consider that to be sudha, nectar. Why? Because when there is criticism, that's when we can look inside and see where we went wrong. There cannot be, if there is smoke, there must be fire. Which means if there is some criticism there, it may not be completely true, but there is some spark at least. There must be something that we have done. When there is praise, we don't look inside. We just keep looking outside on who's saying what. But when there is criticism, we don't feel like looking outside. We become antarmuk. And we call out to Krishna. Krishna, look, I have nobody except you. This is the sixth. Seventh, Shri Radha Murali Dharo Bhaja Sakhe. Oh, dear friend, constantly worship Radha Murali Dhara. And eighth, Vrindavanam Matyaja. Never forget Vrindavan. <laughs> Prabhu, Mahaprabhu also said this. Prabhu kohe aite tumi jao Vrindavan. Nirantara karo Krishna nam sankirtan. To Subuddhi Rai, Mahaprabhu gives instruction. Go to Vrindavan. Live a simple life and do bhajan. Cry out to Krishna. Bhakti yoga, bhakti yoga, bhakti yoga dhan. Vrindavan Das Thakur in Chaitanya Bhagavati says, Bhakti yoga is the only wealth. And what is Bhakti Yoga? Bhakti Yoga Name Krishna Name Ras. Uh, Bhakti Yoga Name Krishna Smarana Krandan. What is Bhakti Yoga? He says to remember Krishna's names and cry out loudly for help. This is Bhakti Yoga. So Mahaprabhu said, Bhalana Khaibe, Bhalana Poribe. Then he says, Amanina Manada. Give respect to everyone. Don't expect anything. And Sada Krishna Nam Love. Constantly chant the names of Krishna. And the seventh point, Brajay Radha Krishna Seva Manasi Karibe. Constantly think of Radha and Krishna in your heart. Even if you have deities, you can do Manasi Seva. That you can close your eyes and you can think that you're bathing them. You're making, you can many times think as meditation. If we can think of temporary fleeting, flickering things of this world and get polluted and more entangled, it is so much more better and purifying to sit and pray and think of our deities in our heart and collect co flowers of different shapes and sizes and fragrances and put them together like a string. And then think that I am offering it to my deities. So purifying. Kathanchana smrite yasmin dushkaram sukaram bhavet vismritir viparitam syachri chaitanyam namamitam. Chaitanya Charitamrit describes thinking like this of the Supreme Lord makes difficult things simple. And forgetting Krishna makes simple things difficult. Kumana sumana stvamhi yati yasya padab jayo ho sumana arpana matrena tam chaitanyam prabhum bhaje. Again, Chaitanya Charitamrit describes that even if you offer one flower, even mentally offer at the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu, flower is called sumanasa. In Sanskrit, it is called sumanasa, flower. But sumanasa also means good hearted person. So it is described even if we are kumanaha, even if we are bad. If we offer sumanasa, then the kumana sumanastvam hi yati yasya padavja yo sumana arpana matrena. Just by offering one sumanasa, one flower, we, even if we are kumanasa, we will become sumanasa. We will become saintly. This is the power of bhakti. So till the time we don't follow the instructions of Mahaprabhu, till the time we don't study these pastimes from different angles of vision, how is Sanatan Goswami glorifying Haridas Thakur? How is Haridas Thakur taking that glorification and giving it back to Sanatan Goswami? How Jagadananda Pandit is talking to Sanatan Goswami when Mahaprabhu chastises Jagadananda Pandit? What lessons we can learn? Sanatan Goswami Pad in Chaitanya Charitamrit, his body is full of wounds and sore. And Mahaprabhu is going and embracing again and again, again and again. And not even... Uh, improving his condition. Every day he would come on the pretext that, oh, look at your body and he would embrace. So actually, one embrace he could have
cured. But every day he would come and do this. So Sanatan Goswami felt very bad. He asked Jagadananda Pandit, what should I do? Jagadananda Pandit said that Mahaprabhu has already given you advice. Go to Vrindavan. Why you are in Jagannathpuri? You go. <laughs> you go. You go to Vrindavan. So in that way, two things will happen. You're following Mahaprabhu's instructions. And second, Mahaprabhu is not embracing you every day. Sanatan Goswami says, wonderful idea. Let me go. So next day he comes and tells Mahaprabhu, I am going to Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu gets angry. He says, who told you? He says, Jagadananda said, he told me to go. Mahaprabhu gets wild. Kali kale batua jagga aise garva hila. Kal ka janma hua Jagadananda. Itna garv kar raha hai ki aapko upadesh kaila. He has so much guts. He appeared yesterday. He's a bacha. He who appeared yesterday, you know, Mahaprabhu is chastising Jagadananda to Sanatan Goswami. He says, Kal jo janam liya, Jagadananda, he has so much pride that he will give advice to you. Mahaprabhu blasts Jagadananda Pandit. What do you think of yourself? You are giving advice to Sanatan Goswami? Sanatan Goswami looks at this and he says, Aapanera asaubhagya aja hoi lo gyan, jage nahi jagadananda samabhagya. Oh Mahaprabhu, today I understood. You are saying, Aham tuma samabhagya vane upadesha kaila. You are saying, I am bhagyavan? But today I understood my position. Sanatan Goswami Pad says, there is nobody. Today I understood how unfortunate my situation is. There is nobody in the whole world, Jaga, who has Bhagya like Jagadananda because you are chastising him. To me, you are behaving like an outsider. Yes, you are very special. You are very great. And to Jagadananda Pandit, you have your Atmiya Ras. You are giving him the juice of intimacy. Only somebody who's dear to that person we can chastise. So Mahaprabhu is chastising Jagadananda Pandit. Left, right, center. Sanatan Goswami says, oh, I wish I get this. <laughs> so pastimes like this, when we study from Chaitanya Bhagavat and Chaitanya Charitamrit, from different angles of vision, not quickly, but slowly. Reading a pastime, every verse, and seeing how Mahaprabhu is responding. How Jagadananda Pandit is responding. How Sanatan Goswami is responding. So when we get chastised from a superior, it is actually very great wealth. One should not feel sad. One should take it. Yes, it came my way. Let me accept it. Especially when the superior is highly qualified. Then we should just accept. Krishna's Sanatana Mukhe Krishna Amakeshi Khaila. <laughs> Mahaprabhu, when he was taught by Sanatan Goswami, he was requested actually by Sanatan Goswami, don't go to Brindavan with thousands and thousands of people. You go alone. Mahaprabhu says yes. And he takes a detour and he comes back. You turn and he comes back. Sanatan Goswami says, I hope Mahaprabhu, you're not feeling that I am such a small person and I'm speaking. Mahaprabhu did not tell him. Who are you? Who am I? I am Nimai Vishwambar. I am Sanyasi. I am Bhagavan. Radha Bhava Vibhushita. And you are teaching me. Mahaprabhu didn't think like that. He immediately said, yes, what you're saying, Sanatan, is correct. I should not go to Brindavan with so many people because everyone will have their own mood. I should go alone or maybe with confidential associates so I can relish Brindavan. He tells Sanatan Goswami, Sanatana Mukhe Krishna Amakeshi Khai. Krishna is teaching me through the mouth of Sanatan. So through these pastimes and these verses of poetry, so many real life lessons are there for Vaishnava dealing. Right? This is the treasure of Gauralila. So therefore, when we study Chaitanya Charitamrit and Chaitanya Bhagavat so many times, automatically in real life when a situation comes, we can think, has such, something like this happened in Gauralila? And if yes, how did the Vaishnava respond? And then to the best of our ability, the closer we are to that response, the better it is. Nityananda Prabhu kicks Shivananda Sen on the chest. <laughs> he kicks Shivananda Sen on the chest. And he curses Shivananda Sen's children to die. 
and Shivananda sent to exit as mercy. And then looking at this, Nityananda Prabhu's heart melts. Shivananda senses the lotus foot just of your lotus feet, which Brahma and Shiva and so many demigods are doing bhajan to get. You, when you get angry, you are coming and giving that wealth. Imagine pleasing you. And Nityananda Prabhu's heart melts. He says, oh, you have passed the test with flying colors. He embraces the Shivananda sin. And he protects all his children. Mahaprabhu is dancing. In Kirtan, Srivas Thakur loses a child. And women are loudly crying that there is death in the family. Shiva, um, Srivas Thakur goes from one woman to another and stuffs cloth in their mouth. So that their crying doesn't come out. And he tells them, Shh, no crying. Anyway, this child, today or tomorrow, he has to die. So it is his saubhagya that he died in the same house as Mahaprabhu's kirtan. No shouting. Let Mahaprabhu taste kirtan rasa. Who in this world has that level of surrender? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he says, I am not able to taste any pleasure today. Something is going wrong. And then when the devotee said, Srivas Thakur has lost a child and this and he tried to hide all this because so that you can enjoy the experience of Kirtan. Mahaprabhu says, oh, oh, oh. call that child and Mahaprabhu revives. Next to see. Haridas Thakur being tempted through the prostitute, being criticized in mid-assembly, being whipped in the marketplace. What is that thing that Haridas Thakur did not go through? Look at the eagerness of Maharaj Pratap Rudra. Being the greatest king, being so opulent. He had conquered all parts of the country. But all of that was tuchavat, was like insignificant grass. Because in, in his heart, he had only one desire. May I get accepted by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So many wonderful devotees. And dear devotees, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is conquered by each one of them. But the peak on top of the mountain of devotees, just like in the example of the garland, you have the central rose and then you have flowers on both sides. So whether you consider devotees to be mountain and then you talk about the peak or whether you talk about devotees as a garland and think of the central rose flower, in both these examples, the peak of the mountain of devotees or whether the rose center of the formation of the garland of all the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the topmost is Shachimata. From whose womb Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. And this is why we see when Mahaprabhu is called, he is called with respect to Shachimata. Anar pita charim chirat karuna yavatirna kalo samar pai tumunato jwalara sanso bhakti shriyam hari purata sundara dyuti kadam vasandi pita sadarida yakandare spuratu vashachinandana sadarida yakandare spuratu vashachinandana Rupa Goswami is Vidak Madhav Natak has written this verse which Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami borrows is the fourth verse, the first chapter of Adilila Chaitanya Charitamrita. It says that may that beautiful, wonderful son of Mother Shachi appear in the cave of our hearts. Why he's called Shachi Nandan? Spuratuva Shachi Nandana? Because Shachi Mata has a very big heart. Very, very big heart. Those who travel through Navadvip even once, and ate prasad in the home of Shashi Mata. Even years later they remember. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was traveling to search for his brother Vishwarup. He met devotees who said. Oh in Nadia in Navadvip. When we went to the house of Shashi Mata. Without knowing that is Mahaprabhu's mother. And said oh even now the taste of the prasad cooked by her is lingering on our tongue. Shashi Mata was very compassionate. Very, very merciful. Very sweet. And the fruit doesn't fall very far away from the tree. So if Mahaprabhu has appeared as the son of Mother Shachi, Prabhupada writes in one purport, the sons many times, generally, not all the time, but generally, carry the qualities of the mother. 
So if Mother Shachi is so magnanimous, Rupa Goswami is saying, Oh, Mahaprabhu, you please follow his example. Uh, you fo please follow her example. And you also be magnanimous and give us Krishna frame. That is the intention. This is why Tam Pranamami Chashri Shachi Tanayam Sarvabhama Bhattacharya has sung Nava Gauravaram Nava Pushpasaram Pranamami Shachi Suta Gauravaram Mm. Shachi Sutta <coughs> Ujjwala Varana Gauravara Deham mm. Vilasita Niravadi Bhava Videham In that song also Tam Pranamami Chashri Shachi Tanayam Shachi Tanaya Shachi Sutta Shachi Nandana All mean calling out to Mahaprabhu with respect to his mother Vande Shri Krishna Chaitanya Matru Bhakta Shiromanim Pralapya Mukha Sangarshi Madhu Dhyani Lalasayaha Chaitanya Charitamrit describes Mahaprabhu became Mahaprabhu. Krishna became Mahaprabhu for one purpose. Why? To go to Vrindavan. To taste what Radharani tastes. That was the purpose of the advent. But because Shachi Mata said don't go. He didn't go. Imagine you and I in the month of Kartik are staying here in America and not going to Vrindavan. What happens to us? Not to me but all of you are feeling some separation. I am okay. But all of you may feel that I wish I can go to Vrindavan, right? Imagine how much Mahaprabhu will feel. And how much more love is there for Mother Shachi that when she says don't go, he's saying, okay, I will not go. That same Krishna is there in Jagannath Puri as Jagannath, so I will stay here. Chaitanya Charitamara describes Mahaprabhu felt so helpless. He wanted to break through the walls and run to Vrindavan. But at the same time, he was locked. By the words of Shachi Mata that don't go. So Pralapya Mukha Sangarshi. Saying Vrindavan, 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 Vrindavan. He was rubbing his cheek to the wall at the Gambhira. Desiring to break through the wall and run to Vrindavan. But what to do? His mother had said don't go. So following the instruction of his mother. He curtailed his ecstasy and it all exploded in the Gambhira. This is why we can see. Sharad Jotsna Sindhur, Ava Kalanaya Jata Yamuna, Brahma Dhavan Yosmin, Hari Vira Hatapar Nava Iva, Nimagna Murchala, Payasi Nivasan Ratri Makilam, Prabhata Prapta Sway, Avatu Sa Shachi Sunu Ihanaha. Kaviraj Goswami calls Mahaprabhu Shachi Sunu, son of Shachi Mata. Sarvam Bhattacharya calls Shachi Sutta, Shachi Tanaya. Rup Goswami calls Shachi Nandan. All different names, son of Shachi Mata. Jagannath, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj says, of all the names of Mahaprabhu, the name Jai Shachi Nandana Gaurahari is the highest. Because Mahaprabhu has so much love for his mother. But can you imagine? Mahaprabhu left his old mother for all of us. Now let that sink in. He loves all his devotees, but he loves his mother the most. For whom he left Vrindavan. That same Shachi Mata was old. And Mahaprabhu took sannyas why? To spread Harinam Sankirtan far and wide for all of us. Emana dayala prabhu nahi tribhuvane. Krishna prema hoye jar dur darshane. Shri Krishna Chaitanya kripa karohe vichar. Vichar koile chitte tumye pave chamatkar. Just see how much mercy Mahaprabhu has. So in this section of Chaitanya Bhagavad that we read, that same Shachi Mata has been described as Vishnu Bhakti Swarupini. And because of her love for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu was giving her, her revelation to so many pastimes. If we become dear to Shachi Mata and call out to Mahaprabhu as Shachi Nandan Gaurahari, then hopefully we can pray. May those revelations enter our heart someday. May we have darshan of Krishna someday in our heart. Janama safalatar Krishna darshana jar bhagya hui ache ek bar. Bhaktivinoda Thakur says that person's life is successful who has darshan of Krishna in his heart once. Once. Premanjana churita bhakti vilochana ena santa sadaiva rida yeshu vilokayanti. The santa, the great personalities always see. In the heart. But let us have darshan once in our life.
darshan of Krishna's form. Once. Varam deva moksham na moksha vadimva nachanyam vrineham vare sadapiha idam te vapu natha gopala balam sada me manasya avir astam ki manyai. Oh Krishna, my only desire is may this form give darshan in my heart. Apart from this, I have no other desire. Which means, may I have your darshan just once. Jagannath Swami, Nayana Pathagami Bhava Tume, Ek Bar Dik Jau Bas, He Prabhu. Oh Lord, please give me darshan once. This is the prayer our Acharyas beg. Ha ha kadanu bhavita si padam drishor me. Shri Paddilva Mangala Thakur has also written. When oh when will that day be mine when I will have darshan just once? Dhyana vastita tad gatena manasa. Pashyanti yam yoginaha. The yogis also have darshan in their heart. We are the only ones left. Everyone got darshan. Everyone's gone back home back to God. We are all still sitting here. In the marketplace of this world. Selling the fish of other topics. With the stink of our material desires. Vishwam gaurarase magnam. Sparshopi mamana bhavat. Vanchitosmi. Vanchitosmi. Vanchitosmi na samshaya. Sri Pad Prabodhananda Saraswati writes, the whole world got benefited, but I am still sitting here. I was not even touched by that drop of Gaur Prem. I have been cheated. I have been cheated. I have been cheated. So we should have that desire in our heart. Arakabe nitai chandir karuna hoi be. Samsara vasana mora kabe tuch hobe. Vishaya chadiya kabe shuddha hobe man. Kabe hama herabo shri brindavan. When will that day come when I will have darshan of Vrindavan? Mora e abhilash, vilas kunje diyovas, noyone heribo sada jugal ruparasi. Oh, Brinda Devi, please give me darshan of Radha Krishna. Without darshan, my eyes are useless. So, therefore, in this section, it is described that Shachi Mata is having darshan. She is seeing Rasalila. She is seeing demigods taking darshan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And it is described she had all this because she was the embodiment of devotion. And anybody whom Shachi Mata blesses, they can also have this vision. So dear devotees, the essence is of whatever we discussed. We mentioned three points. Point number one, Gaudiya Vaishnav means following Mahaprabhu's instructions and etiquette. Point number two, we can get to know that by studying Chaitanya Bhagavat and Chaitanya Charitamrit many, many times and introspecting, studying it from different angles of vision. And whenever anything happens in life to see what response the Acharyas in the Leelas have given to such a situation. Point number three, the more we advance, the more we please the Supreme Lord, the more we will have revelation in the heart. We will have darshan of so many wonderful, beautiful events. And of all the devotees in Gaura Leela, Shachi Mata is the topmost because it is her womb which is like a milk ocean from where the moon of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. So we pray to her by her blessings. May our heart melt and may we offer it to Mahaprabhu. Prabhupada said that the heart of a Bengali mother is very soft. <laughs> Prabhupada said, as strict as a British officer and as soft as the heart of a Bengali mother. And of all Bengali mothers, Shachi Mata is the most Bengali, as Bengali as it can get. <laughs> she is the root from where the fruit of Gaudiya Vaishnavism manifested. So let us pray today that, O oh Shachi Mata, may some devotion rise in my heart. Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bhav, Vansha Kalpatru Kesha Kripa Sindhubya Evacha. Patitanam Pavanibhya Vaishnavibhya Namo Namaha.